22. I knew that he would be on at least one red if he went into that cluster. 23. Yes, uh, that little cluster of reds is going to play a big part in who wins this opening frame this evening. And Willie's got to leave himself a nice angle after potting this easy Three. red. Now, how's he finished? <laughs> Still got a lot to do, though, has Willie. He's got to... He's got to get that difficult red somehow as well. This type of shot tests your cue action. If you knock these in, you're cueing spot on. Twenty-one in front. The black will make twenty-eight. He still needs the remaining red. One of them self inflicted, but a gift. One. The right hand side spins the cue ball off the cushion to his left. was a little bit careless from Willie. Eight. bit short and he's not even going to bother with it by the looks of it. Good escape from Willie. But he's left a half chance. Well, he's refused it. There's no way he would have re refused a chance like that ten years ago. You could say, Dennis, that he's playing to what he believes to be his limitations.
just shows you the, the way Steve Davis thinks. He was well aware of that, and he's brought the blue out into an easier possible position. Might just be able to, Clive. I'm right behind this cue action here. And this is a little gem of the shop. Yes, you're right, my Norman Dennis. And uh, Davis should win the frame at this visit now. And that was the importance when he moved the blue a few shots ago, Clive. It's quite easy now to pot the blue and get up to the pink. Oh dear me, I didn't think that was going in. And he's not on the pink. He can pot it, but it's not straightforward. This pink, the level at five all. Well, I bet Willie Thorne can't believe that he's coming back to the table. Six. Not as good a positional shot for Black as he would have liked. This for 6 4. Quiet, please. Well, the crowds are getting <laughs> very excited. Here we go, then. Just a matter of Davis is queuing, letting him down. It was a straight pot. He didn't hit it straight. Well, if Willie Thorne misses this black, I'm disappearing. <laughs> Instead, the black has disappeared, and Willie Thorne leads by six frames to four. To Willie Thorne again for a second go. A respot black, frame 13. Seven five in frames. Another cheeky double, and in it goes. And Willie Thorne goes ahead eight frames to five. Davis won 14, he should have lost 15, and this one was down to the black. In it went, and watch Davis. A long time since we've seen a motion like that from him. 7-8, that made it. What a super pot from Steve Davis. He has seemed very uptight for much of this match. And uh, but I think the adrenaline is running. Five. Yes, Clive, and he's been moving much more quickly around the table. Well, he's going to play a very delicate little shot here to bring the black into play. A cannon onto the middle red of those three next to the black after potting this. Oh, he took the concentration off the red. But I think he might have left everything pretty safe, but he should have knocked that in. Just hit the red a shade too thick. Gonna have to leave the white the sand and leave the tempter for Steve Davis.
Davis looking at red to middle, which somewhat surprises me. I thought he got a natural angle from the one behind the black spot. Deserved round of applause. No. Well, I'm not sure whether he got a bad contact there, but he hasn't run through onto the black. We've had 15 completed frames. And very cool too. Oh dear me, oh. Willie. Seventeen. Willie Paul. His second. Very poor rest shot in this frame. pocket and it went in clean as a whistle you've got to admire this man eight five down he's clawing his way back and unquestionably Davis has raised his game under pressure. He played very poorly in the first three frames this evening. The four three frames behind, 7-4. But in the last couple of frames, he seems to have released his emotions and has played more freely and certainly more effectively. journey from 8-5 down to 8-all. As you can see a couple of loose reds and then the problems will start. 39. Well, as our camera just pulls out, that plant looks as if it might be on. Well, that's what he's played for. 46. <laughs> 47. Will it go? 
What a time for Mr Black off the spot. The blacks ran safe. He's going to be canning into the pink. So this is not by any means a decent chance. But he's developed that pink ball. Well, uh, the positional side of the shot live it was going to be a bit difficult, so Steve electing just to open a few of the reds up and, and play a good safety shot. Well, Willie, that was a, a bit of a risky one to take on. But as you mentioned, Clive, that black might be the saving grace uh, because the pink's awkward as well at present. But at least Steve Davis has the opportunity. to the 40-point lead, Thorn held, when Davis came to the table. Nineteen. Interesting to see how Steve Davis goes about tackling that 25. difficult red that's next to the black in a few shots time. And maybe Willie Thorne is reflecting. 32. None of this need have happened if he hadn't missed a perfectly straightforward black from its spot. And he was first in with 47. Oh, he's played that well. <laughs> Got the perfect angle to move the red out. Thorne will be expecting Davis to go on to win the frame now. He's got quite a bit of work to do with the cue ball here. That's a great shot. Just brown and blue needed. He's overrun it a little bit. This is a great performance, Clive, from Steve Davis, calling on all his experience to claw his way back into this match, and he's going to go into the lead for the first time. Willie yeah. Thorne was first in with 47, but it's Steve Davis who clears to the pink with 64 to lead by nine frames to eight.
Now he has. And he's in the identical position that he was in the previous frame when he made 47. 17. He's got to really go into those reds. He's still got the loose red. Is an attacking player is Willie Thorne. Yes, that's a good shot. He's a little bit unfortunate with the cannon. One, Willie Thorne. Just confirmation there that we are staying with this match to its conclusion. And it's left things very awkward for Willie Thorne here. Useful bonus. A little bit of pressure on the yellow. He can pot the yellow and get on that red near the brown. Well, he may not. Yeah, he's got to take this pot on, surely. Three. Willie Paul. I'm surprised, Clive, that Willie didn't get down and just pop the red without studying the other reds. It must have put a little bit of doubt in his mind. He's annoyed with himself there. But now, Thorne has got to stay in his chair while Davis attempts to develop a counter-attack. Great. And he's got, uh, as you said, Clive, a good opportunity here. There's four reds and four pinks available okay. for him. Eleven. Eight hours play in this match. He's got a chance here, Clive, I think, to pot this red and Let leave an angle on the pink to maybe develop that safe red on the cushion. 32. Just knowing Steve Davis, if he had the angle, he would move that red, but I don't think it's quite on. Thirty two. Steve Davis. What a shot to miss. Maybe preoccupied with position. <laughs> he 
as we've had some great frame finishes in this match. Tie break black and several on the pink or black. Seven. Nineteen in front. Is he taking the double on? Seven. Will he call? I think he might have left it will he calculated if he risks the double. He might just clinch him the frame, but uh, as it's turned out, he's left Steve Davis a chance. needs appearance to win. Oh. Six. Yeah, I think he'll want to just drop in behind the brown. These are going to be very anxious moments for that man on your screen. Well, blue, pink and black needed and look where the black is. What a pressure black coming up. What does he do? Does he roll it in or does he play a little stun shot? Thank you.